Hey everyone, in this video I will showcase Luca or Luca. I don't know. Depends on how you want to say it, but I'm just gonna stick with Luca here. So in this video I will just showcase what you can do with Luca and uh, I will show you exactly how to use it in order to create a logo for free. Now I'm not saying that you will be getting the logo for free, but the creation part is absolutely for free. Until you're happy with the logo, then you can do uh purchase it or purchase one of these pricing uh, plans they have okay so uh they allow you to create logos they allow you to create also brand kits for your logo which is going to help promote uh your products or something like that or just you know your your uh, your company in general so it's very easy to get started and it's not going to take too long. So I don't want it to, to take too long. First, I'm just going to run down through the pricing real quick. So we've got a few options here. Option one gets a logo and brand kit, uh, which you will have a subscription where you get a brand kit subscription and brand kit web subscription, uh, which you will also get a website with the web one but i'm not going to go through what you get from here and then there is option two where you only get the logo and uh you got the premium one and the basic one okay so uh if you want to learn more about pricing you just go ahead and go to luca.com that is l-o-o-k-a.com slash pricing and you will find everything that you need to know uh within this page right here but what we really came here to do is logo maker here to get started we just uh, go ahead and create a logo so you can just visit luca.com and you should find a home page like this you can sign up if you want but i'm just gonna go ahead and click on logo maker and start from there so uh let's go just click on logo maker and then it's just going to ask you a few questions and you just need to answer them as well as choose a few things and that is uh, what's going to be uh, the process so here first let's just say company company name for example the name that I use for myself uh, to okay so tutorial list uh, explains I know it's not a word but okay so let's just say this is the company name for now and let's make a logo so you just enter your company name there simple and straightforward so uh pick your industry industry uh, knowing your industry will help us pick symbols colors and more so what kind of industry it is uh it's just going to make it a little bit more clear like yeah, for example if it's a coffee shop just expect to have a more coffee shoppy kind of logo and things like that but uh for now let's just do uh uh i have no idea to be honest let's just go for uh arts and crafts Cra crafts maybe maybe astrology let's just go astrology i like planets okay so after you choose that it's just going to give us uh a few uh logos here that we can just pick so obviously these are not we're not done yet it's not just that there are going to be more steps obviously but we just like pick the ones that we like best so uh if we just keep scrolling down like i like this one uh let's just say i like black and gold so i'm just gonna go for, for this stag head so i'll just select this one and if you if you don't want to you can just skip and it's going to be even more personalized um it really depends on what you want here but I'm just going to go for this one and then we will continue on and we will have plenty more options to choose from in order to make it as personalized as possible for us and our um, company. So pick some colors you like. Colors help convey emotion in your logo. So uh, I'm just going to stick with the gold black. So grayscale and yellow. There you go. I think orange too. No, just I think I think just okay, okay let's go just orange yellow and grayscale yep all right so we're good so you just pick three colors or two or one even if you want and it's just going to give 
a highlight to the theme overall of logos that they are going to select for you. So we just go ahead and continue. Now, um, if you have a slogan, you can add that here. And it's most of the time, not all of the time, is going to show as text underneath the actual company name. But there are other formats where you can have it to the right, to the left, that kind of stuff. I don't think I have a slogan that I'm going to add here. So we can just uh, skip this process right here uh, and just click on continue. So pick some symbol types. Uh, the symbols are going to be the kind of icon that you're going to have with your uh, logo. So uh, let's see. So we want star, no, moon, not really. Okay, maybe space, maybe planet, uh, maybe let's just do moon. Or we can also, by the way, just uh, pick our own symbols later on. And even if you don't do it right now and you don't like the symbols later on, you can also uh, choose to um, choose a different symbol like later on. After we are done with this process, just so you understand, we will have a free editing uh, place where we can adjust everything that is, there is going to be within the logo. But... Here we are just trying to find a, a good template to start, basically. So now, <clears throat> sorry about that. Uh, now it's just going to highlight for us a few uh, logos that we can choose from. So I like the black and gold, like I said. So I would try to find one that is nice when it comes to that kind of theme continue as guest so let's just generate more and you can just keep browsing by the way it's not but i don't i don't want to make to this this too long because this is just a tutorial so i'll just go up and select for example um this one right here so we get we just can click on see options and customize um and we can also like it so we can just that is if you're logged in so you can just come back to it whenever you uh, want. So uh, now once we select it, we've got a few things here. We've got the other options that are going to be, uh, I wouldn't say similar, but it's just like there are other options here to, to choose from. Like here, for example, this one does provide a slogan text and this one that I have does not. So keep that in mind. Okay, so. I will just stick to this. Uh, if you you can filter that kind of stuff, and you want if you want to see more, but we don't want that. So now, uh, once we have this, we can actually start editing editing our logo and stuff. So we've got um, uh, the layout, which we can just change the layout to be like this, where we can also edit our slogan text. Uh, we can obviously just change it from there. So just example. Uh, and you see the color that they have chosen is actually gold, which you can choose from uh, metallic gradients. Uh, and you've got multiple gradients to choose from here when it comes to color. Now you can change uh, the color of uh, both the actual company name and slogan as well as the symbol. So keep that in mind. So that's the layout. You can just browse other layouts if you want and you will have plenty to choose from so we've got the uh, the colors if we want to change that i don't want to so let's just skip and by the way even if you don't if you want to change a specific color you can just click on whatever you want and then you can just change the color okay so that's the palette uh, more ideas is just going to generate uh, a few extra ideas such as font pairs if you want where we can have uh, different fonts for uh, company name and slogan. We can do color pairs, which is going to change the colors uh, for a specific uh, part of the text or replace a letter. And this is just going to give you a nice look to a letter, which could be nice, but um, it's, at the end of the day, it's just going to be up to you. So I just don't want any of those. Maybe the the 
Maybe this one. I don't. I don't know. Let's just stick to this. Okay. So next we've got the background, where you can change the background color. If you don't find the color that you like from here or from here, you can simply just click on color picker and you can just play around with that. But we can just keep it to uh, the normal color that we had. And then we've got the name if you want to change that slogan and symbol for the symbol. Obviously, this is going to be provided. And for every element that you click on, you can click on size and make sure the size is fitting correctly if you want, as well as position. So we've got position horizontal and vertical. Same goes for text, by the way. It's just they are going to give you more options in terms of um, size. We've got that and lowercase or uppercase. So position, same thing and uh, so on. So and we can also add container if uh that is what you want which can be nice like this one is actually kind of cool so i'll stick to that so now we've got our logo and let's just stick to that now obviously if you want to purchase it you will just click on download but before that if we just go to brand kit you will get all of these options as a brand kit with the logo that you have just made uh you can just preview them if you want now, obviously, like I said from the beginning of the video, if you don't, if you actually want to get those and the licenses for them, you will need to actually purchase um, some of their their plans or a one-time thing. So, this is all I can show you right now for Luca, and I hope this video helped uh, guide uh, guide you with how to actually use Luca.com. It's very simple and actually it's very powerful really and i hope you liked this video thanks for watching